If people feel empowered by our ideas, then we're doing something a machine could never do. The best ideas are empathic. They connect with people and they empower them. Over the years in design, we started talking about UX, which stands for user experience. And it was a word we used to help us realise that we weren't just designing things that looked pretty, but we were thinking about how our users would interact with the thing that we were making. Then that terminology evolved and we started using the phrase CX. Can you guess what CX? Cat experience. <laughs> Cat experience. Uh. It actually stands for customer experience. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because we realise, hang on, we're not just building things for, for, for users, we're actually uh, building products and things for people to use in the context of a larger customer relationship with lots of other different touch points. But now our design terminology has evolved again and we're using the phrase HX. Can you guess what that stands for, Cap? Horrible experience. Horrible experience. <laughs> Why would you design that? It actually stands for human experience. Oh, okay. But at the end of the day, we're slowly realising we're not just building features, we're connecting with people. The best design is empathy first, empowering design. The word empathy comes from two Greek words combined together. M meaning in and pathos meaning feeling. So empathy is standing in the feelings of another person. Huh. Okay. Well, it, bear with me. But I can literally become one with you through feelings. Okay. I'm just gonna look. I'm just gonna put myself over your face for a minute. Okay. Okay. Be calm, Greg. I'm becoming one with the Greg. I'm feeling so human. Oh, I'm I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm always so hungry. Flying through the sky, I'm a beautiful bird. <laughs> oh, this is such a this is such such fun. Helicopter pilot. One stick, Greg. One stick in a helicopter. Oh my god, it's like you've never flown a helicopter before. You're embarrassing yourself. That was weird. You can't just take over me like that. I'll do it again at the drop of a hat, at the drop <laughs> of your hat, Greg. Whenever we're coming up with ideas, it's really important to know who they're for because people don't make decisions based on the logic of our idea. They make decisions based on how it makes them feel. And so we need to understand when it comes to our like target audience or the, the group of people that we're trying to solve a problem for, what they need, what they want and what they feel. Once we understand their emotional reality, we can start to put ourselves in their shoes and design something surprising and delightful for them. Hmm. Even if they don't have shoes and they're just a hovering cat? <laughs> even if they don't have shoes. Walk in their shoes even if they don't have shoes. So remember, empathy first, because the magic of an idea is always in the human interaction.